What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with my friends Violet and Dennis. Hey. We're going on a camping trip into the woods, you know, to bond a little bit more, become better friends. Uh, it's pretty cold out, but we can get through it. And we're gonna head into the woods pretty, pretty soon. And I'll update you guys when we get there. Yeah. See ya. All right. All right, guys, we're in the woods right now. And a lot of leaves everywhere. Are you there yet? No, I have to take you. Okay. Ah, we're just such good friends. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting kind of scared. What? Of what? Ghosts? Oh. Dennis, ooh. don't be so scared. We're don't fine. Be such a wimp. Come on, Violet. Loser. Hey, guys, what's this? What's what? Oh my god, what, what is this? What the heck? This is so cool. Let's, let's set up camp here. Do you want to? Yeah. I guess we can. We've been walking for a while, so we should get some rest. Yeah. All right, this is pretty cool. Um, so, Tyler, uh, since you're basically failing as a YouTuber, how's the journalism side job going? Uh, it's going pretty well, but I had to write this article for my boss about this guy named Nathaniel Hawthorne. And I hated doing research on him. This guy is so freaking boring. I don't know why he's beloved by so many people that have read his pieces, but in my opinion, it's pretty stupid. Did you say Nathaniel Yeah. I wrote an article about him back in college. And all he did was write the article pieces. He was so boring. I agree. 100%. What? Nathaniel Hawthorne? I remember reading about him in Professor Marvin's class, and I thought he had really cool complex motifs and characterization. Um, I know his settings are sometimes boring and periodical, but he really emphasizes the dark side of humanity, and I think that's really cool. Plus, he was like one of the first American authors to have guilt and hypocrisy with religion in his stories, and I think that is pretty radical. Okay. I mean, the only reason why he writes about the darker side of humanity is because he was heavily affected by his mom's death. Dude, I mean, like, it's such an idiotic inspiration for his works. He needs to freaking man up. Everyone's moms die, and he needs to realize it. I mean, I agree with you that he's boring, but you have to be so mean. Yeah, that is effed up, man. To believe I'd call you my friend after you say stuff like that. Have y'all read his story, Prophetic Pictures, in, like, high school? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you remember that? It was, like, about the paintings and stuff. Yeah, when I read his story... I thought it was cool that it had this creepy, gloomy, impending sense of doom the whole time. And um, it was cool how his, um, his, the pictures represented like the true disposition of the characters. And what I got from the story was that people's obsession over their, um, over their self-image um, obstructs their true values and, um, of a human being. Okay, well, I guess. His writings were always so pessimistic. All I wrote about was the negative views on transcendentalism. I mean, yeah, I like, I agree, because like, the conflict is just about like people being scared about faces changing, in, like in paint paintings, and um, and because he was born in Salem, like I wish he would have burned with the witches, because like if he did, I wouldn't have had to write about him. <laughs> you should have burned with the witches, just because. Stop bashing on him just because you can't comprehend his complex motifs and the fact that the paintings reveal the person's true fate. Don't be such a jerk. He's your best friend. Uh, I'll do what I want. What was that? What was that? What? Uh, guys, I'm we so don't scared. we don't know what just happened, but we just heard a Is noise. Out there? We just heard a noise. That what was, was really there? scary. What was that? Uh. Was that there? Yeah. yeah. shouldn't have been so mean. Now he's coming back from the dead to kill us. Let's go. <laughs> okay guys, I think the coast is clear. I'm gonna check out over there. Okay. Hope he's okay. Yeah, I know. It's pretty dark over there. 
Okay, so it's been approximately, <clears throat> no, it's been exactly 9 minutes and 57 seconds since he left, and I don't know where he is. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll come back. Oh! Dennis! <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for him. No, that's not a good idea. I have to. He already loves Dennis. I have to. He's my best friend. Ugh. <sighs> Where are you? Tyler! What? Is this his phone? Guys, I think I'm the only one left. I can't find either of them. I have to go find help. You must survive to carry on my legacy.